Since its inception in 2012-2013, Sprint Football has become a fan favorite on campus. Sprint Football is essentially the exact same as regular football, with the exception of a 183-pound weight limit and under. In the fall of 2019, the Franklin Pierce Ravens will be making the switch from Sprint Football and will be joining the NE10 Conference in Division II. With this being said, the program will begin recruiting larger players to fill the roster spot. The change from sprint football to Division II football has had mixed emotions from some of From a personal standpoint, the way I feel about the football team going to Division II is I feel a little bit that it's taken an opportunity of people like my size and my small opportunity and window to play college football, and I really gained a whole different experience. The team got out of visiting these places. We are offered full tours of the school, and it really just gave you a sense of being felt honored to be at places like the Army and Naval Academy, and I think that's something that this school will never experience again and never have those teams down here ever again. So in a way, I'm mixed about the D2 program, but I am also proud that the whole school has gone Division II, and that's how I feel about that. And <clears throat> good luck to those boys, and I hope that those men do great things for the school, and I hope that they do great things as a entire program. For people who are fans of sprint football, have no fear. You will still be experiencing all of the same big hits that you have become accustomed to. Just bigger players. <laughs> Director of Athletic Communication, Matt Janik, is excited for the benefits the change will bring. So the football team's trans transition from Sprint to D2, I think, is overall going to be a great thing for the university. I think sprint football served us very well for the time we had it. It did exactly what we wanted it to do while we had it. I think it's time to take that next step. And I think that next step is going to be very exciting, not just for the folks on our campus, but for the folks off campus as well. The Ringe community, our alumni base is, I think, really fired up about it. I think all those things tied together are going to make it a, a great move.